When we do this, Latinos will be the model for the multicultural millennium. We will be living proof of how diversity brings richness, beauty, and vitality to the human race. So one of the things I want to tell you about young Latinos I, I said that in the 80s we became a group and that when I was growing up I didn't have the identity advantage. We'll call it the identity advantage. Young Latinos today are identifying with being Latino at a higher rate than their parents. Young Latinos today are identifying with being Latino at a higher rate than their parents. So yes, it's true that Latinos have economic clout and we are the strongest force in the US labor market. We are connected to our global village. We are a model for diversity. And we are, therefore, the multicultural society of the future. It could well be, however, that Latinos will make our greatest contribution, our most significant contribution, in the realignment of America's values. Our core values include faith, family, hard work, honesty, sharing, inclusion, and cooperation. Most importantly, we are a humanistic culture that put people, not things or money, first. We put people before personal gain or material acquisition. And studies have shown that mutuality, helping one another, sharing, and generosity are the heart of the Latino culture. This is so beautifully expressed in our saying, mi casa es su casa, which really means what I have is yours. So the Latino culture is a sharing culture, a collective culture. It's si se puede. Yes, we can, not just I can. We are a humanistic culture, generosity and putting people first would revolutionize American society. Infusing America with Latino values will mean real family values. As Raul Isaguere, the great civil rights leader, so eloquently explains to us, embracing Latino values of generosity and helping one another would heal many of the divisions in America. Latinos are taught not to take more than their share. See? Yeah. <laughs> Many of the social ills facing this country today are the result of an unequal distribution of resources. Latinos live America's core values of family and hard work. Instead of asking us to change our name and our culture and assimilate, Latinos should be saying, you should be more like us. Come on, you should be more like us. So another key aspect of Latino leadership must be building a people-oriented society based on humanistic values rather than materialistic ones. Latinos know that people are more important than things. Dame lo, the me before the lo. And we must put forth a vision of global family. The humanistic core of the Latino culture drives a collective and people-centered leadership that is very distinct from an individualistic or a hierarchical one. Because the purpose of Latino leadership has been to uplift and improve lives. The purpose of Latino leadership has been to be socially responsible. Our leaders have been dedicated to changing the social and economic conditions that perpetuate inequality. Latino leaders are not just servant leadership, servant leaders, uplifting and empowering people, but they are also community stewards who develop and build the communities they serve. As Cesar Chavez, who is considered by many the greatest Latino leadership of the last century, once prayed, he said, Lord, give me the courage, the honesty, and patience to serve others, for in service there is true life. So key, well, we, I think we lost the slideshow. <laughs> there you go. 
the reason our, our leadership has been a kind of a, a, a bottom up or people up leadership is because we've always represented the kids that, that, that were dropping out of school, people that didn't have homes, that were unequally employed. And so our whole leadership base has been people centered, community action, getting people empowered, and moving them forward, right? It's a participatory, people centered leadership. Key to building community has been the ability to foster consensus, to encourage united action, and foster a deep sense of unity by forming coalitions and forging partnerships across different Latino groups. Latino leaders are cultural brokers, translators, coalition builders, community developers. Our organizations reflect this. ACER, the Hispanic Association of Corporate Responsibility, a coalition of our 18 largest organizations. The National Hispanic Leadership Agenda, coalition of 20 of our organizations. The National Council of La Raza, hundreds of affiliates across the country. The Cuban American Council, the Puerto Rican Forum. We are not only community builders, but we build coalitions across America. To have credibility in the Latino community, our leaders must lead and have led by example. They have integrity. They must have integrity. Be trustworthy, honest, and follow through. They must be de confianza. <laughs> and they must walk their talk. One of the ways we do this is to show respeto for all people and to treat all people with courtesy, regardless of their status their education or position. Latino leaders recognize that regardless of where you are in society, you are a valued and treasured part of the family. Latino leaders must also model the way and not assume privileges or take more than their share. They must follow the same rules as they expect others to follow. Federico Pena, the great mayor of Denver, who transformed Denver into the, it was just voted the top city where people want to live. I was there 30 years, so I was just waiting for people to catch <laughs> on. <laughs> Federico Pena says, when leaders are consistent and treat everybody the same, when everyone knows what the rules are and when leaders follow the rules, People will then follow them to the end of the earth because they have confianza and confidence and belief in that leader. So Latino leaders must be the leader as equal. We can never believe that we are better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Or people will talk about you. Ah, y quien, quien, quien piensa que la Juana ahora se fue a Harvard? <laughs> Está hablando muy, muy raro. <laughs> The leader is equal, works hand in hand with people, and shows respect for all. And this is one of the greatest contributions of Latino leadership, which will turn hierarchy and privilege upside down. C es la hora. For Latino and for Latino leaders, this is our defining moment. Es our destino. Es la hora. It's our time in history, and our destiny is calling us. Latinos are at the crossroads of power. I believe our destiny is to create a world where diversity is honored, where our humanistic values are embraced, and where our global multicultural family can thrive. This destiny depends on each one of us being a leader in our community, letting our light shine. But it also depends on our collective power, our energy, our willingness to work together, to create pathways that will transform our communities, uplift our people, and create a compassionate society. This is the role that your organizations and organizations like Conexión can play, to act as magnets and catalysts to redefine and reinforce the role we'll, Latinos will play in shaping our future. Es la hora because Latinos are stepping up to leadership and we have the power to transform our communities, our country, y nuestra gente. Que viva la comunidad latina! Yeah. All right, let's go. Here we go. Que viva la gente! Que viva la comunidad latina! Que viva el futuro! Que viva
viva nuestros niños y adelante por nuestras abuelas y abuelos. I'll now take your questions. <laughs> so now we have time for questions. Preguntitas. How did I get so crazy? Um, having this opportunity is just so encouraged and, and it's so wonderful because sometimes we as Latinos, we need uh, this kind of people, like one of these wonderful people to, to remind us where we are and where we are because we get too busy with our daily activities and we just forget about that we're a whole community, a whole family. And my question is, uh, Juana, so I'm living in Panama right now and it's full of, it's, yeah, I mean, for Latinos, it's, it's, it's where Latinos live. In There's a lot of Latinos right? in Panama. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, like, you say, okay, the challenge is here in, in the States, but what is our challenge over there where supposedly everybody is Latino and everybody supposedly feels they're proud of it, but they're not? So mm. what is our, our real challenge over there? Well, I actually think you young people are doing the right thing because you're here at the International Leadership Association that stresses ethical leadership, that stre stresses transformational leadership, that the leader is here to transform society. And I think what we need to do as Latinos, and we can do this because of our values and because of our history, is that we need to take the highest examples of leadership and bring them to our communities. South America and, and, and our community, you know, we're, we're going through a transition in leadership from the old type of leadership to the new leadership. Latinos, because we're a fusion people, we do both. We have cooperative, collective leadership. We also had the hierarchical leadership.